In this video, we wanted to show you the basic things you need to know about using and consuming knowledge within the guide system. So the first thing that you should know is guide is an application knowledge library. It follows you around across any web application that you may have. And here I'm on, I'm on Salesforce. And as you can see, uh, any app that I enable guide for, in this case, HubSpot, I have a browser extension that uh, follows me around and identifies uh, where I am. In this case, I'm on Coupa and where I am inside that app. I'm on sessions inside Coupa. Now, Guide delivers knowledge that is in context. And in this case, um, I want to see how to do an invoice in Coupa and knowledge is delivered to me using uh, a video format. In this case, I'm watching a video how to do uh, e-invoice. And you, as you can see, I have uh, the video on app playing exactly where I am inside the application. And it has um, an, an accompanying um, transcript that I can watch and I, I can also search for. And as the video is playing, I can mute it and I can uh, speed it up if I just uh, wanna uh, see it and fast forward. Now, um, using the, the same format, I can also search for content. So I can go and uh, search for a CRM inside HubSpot and you can see um, I find it inside the transcript. So this is a way for me to consume content and actually get to the right content that I'm looking for. And this applies across any application that, I, that I'm using inside my company or application that I, uh, my company is developing. So in this case, assume that I'm on Salesforce, this might be the app that, that I'm actually using or reselling as a partner. Now you may ask yourself, well, how did this content come about? Like where did you find um, this content for Salesforce contact? And essentially the creators of the content are anybody uh, in your team or your partners. Um, so the basic uh, building block in our solution is called playbooks. We have a uh, web application that you can access at appguy.co and you can see that these are uh, playbooks in video format. And let's go into one of these playbooks. So uh, we're going to use uh, this one for an application called Benchling. And what you can see here is that um, each playbook has a transcript like, like we saw before. It's identified by the specific app that it's assigned to and also the tags that are um, used for, for this application. Now, the playbooks can be created in one of two ways. Um, the first is that you can actually upload content that you already have. And this can come from your desktop using upload video. It can come from your uh, cloud drive, like Google Drive or OneDrive, and it can come from recordings that you, you host in the cloud uh, through Zoom. All you have to do is decide uh, which one of these or, or which services you, you use to store your videos, and you can connect them and then upload videos that you already have. Now, when you upload a video like this video here, you can see this is a, um, a what we call a long form video. It's a 42 minute video. And you can actually, um, besides uh, having our application identify which app it belongs to, we also uh, break it up into uh, chapters. So you can see this is a webinar that many of you have been on. And you can see that uh, with our um, magic wand here, you can actually divide it into separate playbooks or um, divide it into chapters that um, you can actually watch the content for. So this is one way of actually using long, long form content that you have and converting it into uh, video playbooks. Now, the second way is yeah, you can actually record content on the fly. Think about somebody's asking you a question, um, hey, Dan, how do you create a new dashboard in Salesforce? And maybe if I know the answer, I can record the answer back to them. The way to do that is the same um, browser extension. All I have to do is hover over the guide, uh, the G button here, which by the way, I can actually move. And then you can see I have uh, a quick link. In this case, I'm gonna click on, on uh, the record button and decide that I wanna record the Salesforce dashboard. And when I click on it, I'm going to record um, the way to actually create a new dashboard from this button. And when I'm done explaining, I can actually stop the video um, the playbook is going to be created on the fly, as you can see here. And each playbook is automatically 
tagged and classified by our solution. So you don't have to do that on your own, even though you can actually change it later. So this is a playbook that I just created. You can see it's automatically tagged um, with the right application. It's Salesforce um, it, located inside the dashboard of Salesforce. And here is the underlying link for this application. And I can rename it so new dashboard creation. And then when I'm, when I'm uh, happy with the result, and uh, there is going to be a transcript here in a second, um, I can also add additional information to this playbook, like uh, links to a wiki or uh, specific files like, like a PDF file. And when um, I'm, I'm satisfied with the result I, I have, and I, I can see that uh, the transcript is accurate, I can actually modify the language of the transcript if I have um, multiple languages in, inside my company, I can share it uh, with uh, people both in my team or it can be in other teams or it can be actually outside of the company. So I can either write names of uh, team members. In this case, I, I, I want to share it with Yoav, who's on my team, or I can share it with um, what we call spaces. And spaces are a medium for sharing multiple uh, playbooks within a topic or a group of people. So I'm going to share this playbook with the sales team since it's relevant uh, for, for that team. And when I send it to them, they're going to receive, uh, because I checked the send notification, they're going to receive a notification um, that this playbook is now ready for them. Now, when I'm uh, one of uh, the team members, and if I go, the next time they go to Salesforce, you can see that in um, the same place that I was at, when I open um, the, the applic when I open the browser extension, here is the playbook that I just created. So it's automatically delivered in context where it was actually uh, created by me. Instead of me having to actually organize, we organize the content for you. So the end result, if you think about it, is that you created um, on the fly, you and your team members created content that spans pretty much any application uh, that is used inside your organization. So over time, this is a library that's going to, uh, to be distributed and built um, across any solution. And then for playbooks, they can actually um, either search for them. Um, so let's look uh, for invoice here, like, like we did before. Here is a playbook that, that's uh, the one I was looking for. But if they actually want to consume the content, they can actually play it directly on the app. So we have either the ability to play it locally inside the guide application, or you can actually play it on app using this button. And what it does is it transports you to the right place to, in this case, uh, to the Coupa application. And then the content is going to play um, where you need it to be. I'm not logged into Coupa, but as you can see that the playbook is actually playing uh, directly where where I wanted it to play. Um, the last part of uh, the solution is that you uh, can actually use Guide to request help or request uh, knowledge. So let's say I am on um, I am on uh, HubSpot in this case, and I'm on, on on the marketing team, and there's something I'm not sure how to do. I can again hover over the Guide uh, extension, and then instead of clicking the first button, I have the ability to request a playbook. So I say, how do I uh, track um, social interaction in our site? And then um, you can see it's automatically classified to the proper application. In this case, it's HubSpot Analytics. And I can use uh, the same mechanism to actually record my problem. So I'm saying I'm, I'm looking at this dashboard here inside HubSpot, but I can't find the place to create um, a new metric for um, social tracking. And then once it's ready, once this recording is ready, I can send the request and decide um, which of my team members or which of my groups uh, that I belong to this is relevant for, and they're going to receive uh, this request um, to their uh, notification um, inside uh, the, the guide application. And then they can also use uh, a guide back to actually explain uh, to me how to uh, perform that action. So these are um, the basic things that we wanted to show you. There's going to be more guides for guide later on, and they're going to be available uh, inside your guide um, in context over each one of the, uh, the, the application spaces.